Thank you for joining me for an in-depth look at our chart of the day. Now we have a new bull market for the average stock. And this means the average investor is just now starting to enjoy the bull market. This is shown in the value line geometric average. And this is an equal weighted index that uses a geometric average to calculate the returns. Here's the formula for that average. And as you see, we're taking the nth root of the product of the daily returns of the stocks. Now this includes a larger number of stocks than most other indexes, and the geometric average equally weights each stock. So you end up with a large cap company having just as much weight as a company with maybe a market cap that's only 0.1% as large. It gives you a more comprehensive look at what the median stock is doing. In other words, what is going on in the average world. Here's the chart. We're now above highs that were reached in 1998. It's been a long time to get a breakout like this. And when we see a breakout like this on a chart, it tends to carry a great deal of significance. It shows we have broad participation in the uptrend. And this is a generational shift in the tone of the market. Here's a similar breakout that we saw in 1982. The Dow in this case was finally breaking above the high reached in 1966. So in that case, we had a 16 year trading range similar to the time frame and period that we've just seen in the value line geometric. As you can see, that breakout was significant. It was the beginning of a bull market that would last until the early part of 2000. We could be right now in the early stages of the beginning of one of the most powerful bull markets of all time. It's not gonna be straight up. As you see, there's pullbacks along the way, but this could be the best time to be a long-term investor with a defensive posture in the short term to take advantage of what we're about to see unfold in the years ahead. Thanks for joining me, and I'll be back with future charts of the day next week.